Thank you and uh, good morning. Um, I'll be focusing on some of the more practical aspects of uh, some of these issues. We at Stagecoach believe that uh, this continues to be one of the big challenges facing us for the long term. Um, I personally believe that we have a false sense of security that has developed out of the recession to some extent. I know that we've focused on kind of paying the bills this week rather than thinking further ahead. But we remain convinced that we have to stick with this for two reasons. First of all, our customers are telling us that they're very sensitive about low carbon transport. They're prepared to leave their car in the drive and go on a train or go on a bus but they want to go on a train or a bus that's running on alternative fuel that's got a low carbon footprint. The second reason why we believe we should stick with this is that we have to ensure sustainability um, of supply for fuel in the long term. I started the buses as a bus conductor in the early 1970s. I was only there for a few months. There was an oil crisis. We're only running three hours in the morning and three hours in the afternoon. That's before we got the, the North Sea going. And it seemed to me that we needed to get a local supply that we could depend on. And that's what we focused on at Stagecoach as what we've tried to do as our contribution to the way forward. Last year, um, we, we continued with uh, an experiment where we converted one of our services to run on recycled B100. And uh, this was in Ayrshire, and we got all of the people in Ayrshire involved in recycling and helping with this, and we were recycling um, chip fat, which we have adequate supplies of in Scotland, I'm sure you know. Um, we actually rolled that out on the Cambridge guided busway last year as well. Again, trying to get a low carbon footprint on a new service that we know will have many people parking the car and using that service as an alternative. And uh, actually, we got so excited about making fuel from tallow and recycled chip fat that I actually bought a majority stake in the refinery that's making the product. And it's actually quite an interesting company because they can make fuel from almost anything, including a dead giraffe from the safari park and a whale that was beached in Stornoy, um, which we said, just put it on a wagon and send it down to Motherwell and we'll make it into fuel, uh, which is fine, except it had a large buildup of flatulence <laughs> kind of released all of that at a pedestrian crossing in Motherwell. <laughs> Apart from that, everything's really going quite well up to This year, what we continue to do we have 17 buses that we're going to introduce in Lincoln, which will be running on biomethane mixed with diesel. The biomethane is coming from a waste site, again, an, an alternative source, which, which is uh, you know, very effective. And we also got 56 hybrid buses going into provincial cities, which is going to be the biggest number of hybrids that any of the companies have bought, particularly for these commercial networks outside of, of London. For the future, what are the kind of things we're looking at? We're looking at solar panels on the side of our buses so that we can re reduce the fuel that's needed for the air conditioning in some of our coaches. We're looking at putting this recycled B100 across a whole fleet and trying to get the recycling going across a wider area. We also uh, have a vision that the whole of the UK bus fleet could be running on recycled B20 fuel. Uh, which we think you know, would reduce the carbon footprint of our public transport in Britain very, very considerably. And um, we, we also are looking at a project. Um, all this stuff that goes down the drains kind of builds up in the pipes and then it turns to a thick paste, it's like a concrete. And our friends in the utility companies spend millions trying to get all this gunge out of all the sewers under London. And uh, we have a suggestion that we could the, the, the sort of dino, I don't know, dino rock that they scoop this stuff out of the sewers, out of the sewers. It all would make really good biofuel. And if we had a plant in London, we could run a large percentage of the Olympic bus fleet, which is going to be about 3,000 buses. Potentially, we could run that on the guns that comes out of our sewers. That's the kind of things we're doing at Stagecoach. Thank you.